Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to City Skylines. Right, City Skylines Industry DLC. I have not yet got it installed because I'm recording this episode about five hours before it goes live. And I didn't actually know it was coming out until only a couple days ago. Um, and so I didn't really have time to go and beg and plead with the um, makers of the game to let me have it early. So that bit aside, it's a little bit unfortunate. Um, I will, in my next episode, I'm hoping I will have a copy of um, the Industry DLC installed and will be doing stuff with it. I'm hoping that it's not going to affect this map. I'm hoping that we'll be able to carry on with this one exactly as we are. I did suggest possibly going on to a different game and leaving this one, but everybody said, no, just keep going the way you are. This is this is fun. We like it. Um, I was surprised because I thought, you know, we were sort of pushing the, the end of what we can really do, but you all seem to like what I'm doing here, and you all seem to want me to keep going with it and, and keep sort of working my way through various different projects and if we do get a bit bored with it I've been told that I should just start another map and start over again and maybe have a, a different set of rules that we put into the map like this time I said no pollution and so we did eventually manage to do it with no pollution I mean I do kind of feel that these were cheating a bit because um we um I mean we did start off with a big lake full of pollution and and that was very interesting working through that um and then I have got the um, the mod that allows the landscaping, which um, you then you can landscape for free. I think building up this massive caldera up here, if we hadn't been able to do that for free, would have been a little bit pricey. Anyway, all that aside, I said that I would have some new district names for today. So that is what we're going to do first. We've got some districts up there that we need to name. And then over here, we've got a few more districts. I don't have a district for the International Airport yet, which we will get to. Uh, so let's just do these down here. Some people were asking how you can get a district named after you. They were asking if they could have a district. Um, you can't just get one. You have to earn it. In order to earn it, you've either got to become an active member of the YouTube community. And that is in the comment section on various different videos. If there's only one video you watch from me, if there's only one series you watch, um, regular commenting in that particular series that you like to watch... Uh, I do see all new comments coming up. I may not necessarily see all of the replies that are coming up. Um, I do try to keep up with some of them. Um, but there's a lot of replies and conversations and stuff that happen uh, when people are replying to each other. I, I don't see those coming up, um, at least not very often. Uh, but new comments, I do see them coming up. I do see on the new videos, I at least do see um, comments, replies, interactions and so on regular oh yeah we've got road tolls now so i there is an update with the game that's added in the the toll roads um this bit that's been added in regardless even though i don't have the dlc uh so we will be able to put that in if we want to um oh that's the road condition thing i had one of those yeah i got one of those installed over here i ought really to put some more of that in then we'll see about doing that and then improving the quality of the roads um the um so if if you become a regular user of the comment section and you're regularly contributing towards the community answering a few questions that sort of thing then you will earn yourself a place in the great book of names now i'm just looking through to see where who was the last person i added in here um i've got jamie burt down here and who else have I got? Um, um, let, let me just have a look round a minute because th there's a couple of names that I added in sort of right at the end. Right, we've got Smoodalini there. We've got Jeremy Hall. We've got Dog Rocket over here. Those were sort of relatively late comers to the list. Um, and then over this way, I had um, Jamie Burt there, who was one of the late. So Smoodalini, Jeremy Hall... Um, James Collins. I'm looking for a James Collins. I've got James Collins on the list, but I don't see his district here. And if he doesn't have a district, this is um, this is unacceptable because he's supposed to have one. Uh, where is James Collins? Those up there. Edward Jasper. Scott M. Dever. 
See, these, these were newer ones up there. Um, GMP Silver Wolf. Dante, and then over this way, see the oh, a disconnected power grid. We can we can disregard that for a minute. Well, I don't see him. I don't see a James. There uh, should be a James Collins district. We got an island there. We got Nigel Pipe, Tom the Yank, um, Yannick down there, Alexander, Rugrat, Eric King, Kalen Peters, Udo, there. But this is just. Weird. Why is he not here? Am I looking at him and not seeing him? Well, it would appear I've overlooked somebody who's on the list. we got James Collins on the list, and he's not here. He doesn't have his own district. So I'm very sorry about that, Mr. Collins. You need to have one. So we're going to put you in right here. So that is James... Not Jams. James. James Collins is right there. So there's, there's our first district... With a new name. And then we got Lynch District up here. This one is... Who was next? Smudalini's had one. Rose Lou. She has been a regular contributor for quite some time now. Uh, so she has earned herself a place. And then we've got this one over here is... Uh, Meredith Wyatt. Although, to be honest, I don't think she watches this series. Um, but she is a very, very regular contributor on another series. And then we've got over here, uh, Golden Eagle, who doesn't, that, that someone again who, who doesn't, con he doesn't um, post comments on every video, but he does consistently post comments at least two or three times a week on various different videos and has done for quite some time. So he has earned himself a name. And then I've got another one over here. He's a relatively new person who's been commenting, Scott, but uh, very regular comments. And there's quite a few comments I've seen by Scott. So he has earned himself a place on here. It's different to Scott M, by the way. He's a different person. Um, now, Mill Heights over here. This is the last one. Is Henry Ashworth. Now, Henry Ashworth is actually someone who should have been in the book a little while ago. Um, but I overlooked him, and I do apologize to that, uh, to, to, to you. Henry Ashworth, but you are now in there. So we got three more spots. So regular comments in the comment section to either this series or a different series if you watch more of another series and, and you, you prefer to do that. And above all, you must follow the channel guidelines for comments. Polite and clean. That's all I ask. Polite, family friendly. If you want to disagree with stuff I've done, by all means, go ahead and disagree with it. Uh, I disagree with stuff I've done, so I'm quite un I can quite well understand other people wanting to disagree with me. I got no problem with you telling me that you think my videos are absolutely awful. Um, some people here, some people who have actually earned Marcus Crawford has made no sort of um, what's what's the word I'm looking for? He's 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 not hidden the fact that some videos that he's watched in the past were absolutely awful, and he felt they were awful, and he called me up on it, and. So he's expressed his opinion quite clearly on what he thought of some of my previous videos. And, you know, we've had a discussion about it and various things have been done or not done. Scott M has, um, I remember he's called me out on a few different things that he thought was absolutely terrible and I shouldn't have done. And it spoiled the series or um, done so, so on and so forth. So, um... I'm just, I'm not saying that these people are wrong or anything like that. All I'm saying is that you can disagree with me. I'm more than happy for you to disagree with me. I want your honest opinions. I go on feedback. I build up my videos on feedback. Um, and almost every single person here has at one point or another told me that they think that something I've done was not right. Um, Udo Mega over here. Um, where is he? He's here somewhere. He's hiding now. I thought I'd, I'd just seen his name pop up, and um, I thought, oh yeah, he's he's another one who's um, called me out on something and put a di he said, you know, I put a dislike on that video. You did this here, and I think that's absolutely awful. I'm putting a dislike on your video for you for that, um, and fair enough. You know, he's, he made a valid point and um, just sort of explained. The bits that he thought were wrong, and um, yeah, I, to be honest, I probably I actually agree with him. Um, and if I was to redo that video now, I'd do it differently. Where is he? Oh, there he is. There, right there. Udo Omega, right there. Um, 
And to be honest, if I redid the video now that he was he was watching some of the older stuff, um, I would have done it differently. I, I definitely would have done that differently. Um, and I went back and I seen it, and uh, I thought, yep, you're absolutely right there. You got, um, I, I agree with you on that. Um, I don't always agree with your comments. I may not. I, I may decide, well, actually, I quite like it like this. I'm sorry you don't like it, but no, I'm deciding not to change that. I'm not going to act on your feedback on that particular instance. Don't feel that you have to butter me up in order to be able to earn a place. The only thing you have to do is be polite. You can disagree with me, by all means. I like it when people disagree with me. I don't want... I'm not telling you that the only way you're going to earn a place is if you're nice to me and tell me I'm wonderful. I'm not interested in that. Um, if you think I'm wonderful, by all means, tell me I'm wonderful. I don't mind. I really don't. I'm not going to object to that in any way, shape or form. But if you disagree with me, don't feel that you cannot say that um, for fear of being penalised or being blocked from ever being able to um, sort of be a, become a part of videos and stuff like that. I want... To, I want your honest feedback. So that's the thing I'm looking for, is honest feedbacks on all of it. And um, I want to know what your thoughts are. Just keep it clean and tidy. That's all I ask for. That's the only thing I'm asking for. If, if you put a load of curse words into your um, disagreement with me while you're busy telling me that you think I'm wrong or an absolute fool for doing something... Um, it's going to get filtered out, and I'm going to disregard the comment anyway. All right? Fil the, the filters are all there. YouTube have got a fairly robust set of filters on them these days anyway on the comment section. I've added in a load of other words as well that I don't allow on the channel. Um, and it's So keep it clean, family-friendly, and tell me your honest opinions. If you don't like something, tell me. And... Sometimes I will act on it, sometimes I won't. I may disagree with you, I may agree with you. But that's the, the joy of civilised conversation, is that we can disagree with each other, and we can still, you know, keep things civilised, we can keep things polite. It's entirely possible. I realise that much of the internet these days seems to think that that's not something that can be done. You look at the comments section on so many different, um, even YouTube videos, but you, you look at like Twitter and you look at comments on Facebook on different things, and you start to genuinely believe that it's not possible to disagree, to have different points of view and remain polite to each other. I disagree, and I also belong to several different groups on the internet where other people disagree and we have disagreements we have very we have completely polar opposite views on a number of different subjects and everybody is still polite and we still form friendships and that's what i like and so if if you want to troll by all means troll but you won't get away with it on this channel because trolling comments generally get filtered out and removed um, but if you want to disagree, by all means, I am not going to hold that against you. The only thing I hold against you is if you are impolite. If you are impolite, bye-bye. Uh, uh, you're out of here. Um, uh, we're, we're not here to scream abuse at people. We're not here to get personal. You can put across a point of view without putting nasty, spiteful personal comments. Um, and so many people here who've now got a name, in you know, have now got a district named after them, do just that. They put across their point of view in a polite and friendly manner. Even if it's a complete polar opposite of my own personal point of view. Or someone else's. I've seen plenty of these people disagree with each other on different things. And they still keep things polite. So that's all I ask. Whether anybody new to the channel is asking for a district to be named after them. That's how you earn it. Be polite. That's all you've got to do is be active and be polite. Of course, there is another way. You can go to Patreon. There is a link in the description down below. There is also a link on the main channel front page. Up in the top right-hand corner, there's some little um, squares up there that you can click on for various different things, like my Facebook and Twitter and um, so on and so forth. One of them is for Patreon. You can go to Patreon and you can support me. And after the first payment goes out at the beginning of the month, so long as you have actually requested that you get a reward, your name will be added to the list. Increasingly, I'm finding a number of people are supporting me on Patreon and choosing no rewards. And then I don't put their name in the book, so they, obviously they're wanting to remain anonymous. It's just, I've said this before, but I'll say it again. Just thank you. Like, seriously, thank you so much. I am absolutely staggered when people do this. Now, it was explained to me in a previous... I said this before in a video. And um, some of you said, well, actually, you know, it's, uh, it's you know, 
some kindness is being shown, but if kindness is being shown publicly, sometimes the person who offers the kindness then gets badgered by other people for something similar. Um, and that may be what they're trying to avoid. And that's fair enough. I can understand that. Um, so, yes. Those who have chosen to support me and wish to remain anonymous, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. That is absolutely wonderful. Um, the only reward I offer on Patreon is the um, the placing in a great book of names. You become one of the Frith Guardians. That is the name of everybody who is in the book of names. You are Frith Guardians. You become part of the Frith Guardians. And um, this, this, this also happens to be the name of the guild that we have in World of Warcraft, the Frith Guardians. And I, I quite like this name, which is um, why I've decided... You've done it again, haven't you, trains? You, you've gone and, like, locked yourself in on a three-way tie right here. It's very bizarre the way it does this. They block each other in, and, and then they refuse to meet. What are you doing here? Um, it's trying to go that way, and it's trying to go... I don't really know what it's trying to do. It's, they're leaving, but these are coming in, but they're coming up to that point right there, and they're, they're blocking themselves. I'm thinking we need to change this ever so slightly. But yeah, support me on Patreon if you'd like to become a member of the Frith Guardians and have your name entered into the Great Book of Names. Um, or become an active member of the community. And again, thank you very, very much to everybody that has chosen to support me without any kind of recognition. I, I'm absolutely gobsmacked every time I see it. Every time a new person does this, I'm... Again, I'm absolutely gobsmacked. I think it's wonderful. And I've just found out what the problem is. This is not quite long enough for two trains. Uh, for, for a train. We, I need to take that one out there. It's not quite long enough there. So what I need to do is I need to bring it out here. Like this. And then... I actually want to go with that one there like that. Um, and bring that down there like that. Because it's not quite long enough for a single train to fit in there. The train is going in and blocking, and then it's also then blocking the one coming in. And that's the problem. So by moving that out a little bit, it should allow the trains now to all start flowing. I hope. And all carry on without blocking each other up. It's the crucial bit, is they've got to do this without blocking each other up. So we had, I mean, yeah, because I deleted the other piece of the track, um, a load of them have now sort of vanished, for at least for a minute. But no, they're, they're still going, they're, at the moment, they're going all right. We've got intercity trains going to some of those. And that is now working a lot better. Just that slightly longer bit there has made all the difference. There we go. Okay, that's, that's cured that bit. For once, I've done something right. <laughs> miracles never cease. This this is this is literally nothing short of a, a major miracle. So we've now got uh, not we got more demand for industrial buildings. I've got so much demand for industrial buildings is ridiculous. This one here, not enough customers. Uh, right, yeah, but this is um, this is uh, com no, commercial. I've, I've, it's, it's all commercial. This is again, we got not enough customers coming in here. A lot of these got not enough customers. Um, beauty salon. Where's the not enough customers? There's not enough customers here. Uh, the Lion and the Pint Pub. Well, I got people coming in here. I'm not allowing intercity trains on that one. Although I did have a... Pretty sure that's a stop on one of the stations. Can't really remember now. Um... We got a whole load of traffic coming. We we sort of took care of most of the traffic up here by just a, a few well placed differences, uh, you know, changes in stops and that, and that worked really well up there. The rest of the trains in this area are working absolutely wonderfully. That they're, they're all flowing and they're flowing around that one. They're flowing here. They're they're a little bit slower here. These, these are a little bit slow. I've got... Okay, that's... Wait a minute. This this is different types. This, this is different. They've changed the way that the trains look. The appearance of the trains is different. Okay, I like that. That's very cool. So hopefully in our next episode... Look, 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 look! 
In our next episode, I'm hoping that we will get a... Um, we will have the the new DLC going. We'll, we'll have have the new one with the um, all of the there. Look, look at that. Um, we'll be taking uh, what do you call it? The the industry DLC. That's the one that we want. We, we'll be getting the industry DLC. So we've got that one's going. That one's taken a little bit. Owner Santa Cruz. I had. One of those come in with the logs on it there. That came in and it unloaded. But I've got logs here coming in. But then I've got empty lorries coming in as well. That one's emptied out. I quite like as well. It seems like the traffic is kind of ironed itself out a little bit here. I've still got lots of traffic. And it would appear that we don't have very much in the way of sales of timber from our forestry zone here. Uh, mostly what we've got is um, timber uh, being bought in and then being processed. What happened here? That's, that's working normally. Woody's wood over there. But why? Uh, did I have a forest fire over here? I don't remember having a forest fire. Big problems here in the industry is we've, we we don't have enough buyers, and that's the commercial district. That's that's why we've got so much demand for commercial at the moment. Um, so we've got a load of stuff over here. I got more houses being built. I've got low density housing all the way around there, but there doesn't seem to be very much in the way of low density housing actually being built. I got like one down there, and I got another one over here, the laurel. The low de oh, that's that's the low density one there. So we've we've got a few low density. Actually, I quite like these low. Look at these. They're quite cool. They, they've got like the um the bits on the roofs and the um the, the grass roofs. They've got solar panels and stuff like that. But it's it's these tower blocks that are really good. You look at some of these. They've got um they've got gardens on the roofs. They've also got solar panel sections on the roofs as well. But a lot of these have got gardens on balconies. And this is actually a thing. Some places in the world, there's some places that are now starting to build these tower blocks that have got um, big balconies built into them all the way up. And there is actually, and it's not just like the, the odd like little bit. It's not just, I, I can't really focus on these very well because um, it, it's focusing on the ground. Uh, but you can sort of see them. Um, it's not just the the odd little balcony that someone has planted. They've got whole trees growing on the balconies on the sides. And if I can... There, look. You can almost see whole trees growing on this one. You've got vines and that growing up the sides. Um, it doesn't look like there's that many with the trees growing like on the balconies all the way up the side. But there are actually ones like it. And it's, it's the bits on the roof as well that are really good. So this is the self-sufficient buildings. And they're building self-sufficient buildings. It's, yeah, this this balcony right here. Right, zoom. Right, well, we can see some of the balconies. They've got some stuff going on on them. I, th I don't know if we've got to wait a while for them to grow some more stuff. Um, this out here, look at this. See, we've we got loads of it here. This is brilliant. And that one in there... Okay, that one's really cool. I like that one there. That one's got loads of it. All the way down through there, look. There's um, absolutely masses of stuff growing on there. And how is that doing for our birds and bees? We got we got uh, that. There's the monuments here, the birds and the bees one. And it's in section one right there. We are 3,189 squares of self-sufficient. We've got to get up to 5,000. We're getting closer. Now, I, I, I don't know if it's actually buildings built or if it's just an area that's dedicated. But uh, we're, we're doing quite... Why is... Why have we got so much sickness here? Crime rate high and a load of sickness from this little... We, we've got a little um, sort of cul-de-sac in there. Let's have a look. Now, i got a hospital out there. So we, they come in round. Hospital. And I know that I got that hospital there that's not currently got any power. But I don't think that's going to make a huge difference. It seems that... It, well, whether it's something to do with the airport. It could be that the airport is producing some kind of... Let's have a look. Pollution? No. 
But this one, look, citizens are sick. I don't know. I, I did wonder if maybe that was something to do with the... Um, it's not a historical building. Um, noise pollution. We've got a thing for noise pollution. We've got, we've got wind here. Wind is not really... Very high wind up on top of there. We could put some wind turbines up on there. Generate a bit of power. Let's not worry about that at the moment. Uh, let's have a look. So it's levels. No. Uh, oh, there. Noise. Right. Ah. Right. Very, very noisy here with the airport. And that might be contributing towards the health of the citizens. I mean, we know that that is it's all of these sort of places are quite noisy. I mean, that's that's fairly noisy there. Although overall, the, the land value is good. That's a really noisy pit there. And then you got the industry over there. You'd expect the industry to be quite noisy. Train station plus these over here, and yeah, that's uh, the the massive all the nightclubs and stuff down there. You'd expect that to be very noisy as well. Um, I don't know if that's contributing to. And then we got crime as well. Look at the crime rate. Well, the crime shouldn't... Yeah. Crime's not really much of a problem, I don't think. I don't think we need to worry about that. But this, it's, the, it's the health right here. We've got serious health problems. This is something that I'm finding quite concerning. I'm going I'm to need to do something about this. So what can I do in order to deal with that? I think, really, we're going to need to put in a small clinic in here. I think that's going to be the bit that's going to deal with it. If I have just one of those and I drop that in there, I, I mean, I could put it onto there on that side. Just uh, we go right in behind that building there. If I do that, is that going to improve it? Drop that one in there. And I'll do the same on this side because we don't have any buildings in around here yet. But if I drop one each side there, is that going to aid them with that bit? Now, as far as noise pollution is concerned, I've got the airport there, which is working quite nicely. But should I move the airport over here? If I was to take that one and drop it over this side, would that be a little better? Start. I'm thinking that it might actually be because we'd move the noise pollution away, which would raise the value of this property over here. That would be a good thing. That's that's never going to hurt. So let's um, let's get rid of that a second, and and we we'll go to you, and we will go for a relocation if we can. Uh, slope to steep. We all the way down here. Right. Yeah. That's that's the other problem with the airport is the slope. I can I can go over here slightly. But again, I mean. That's, that's only just going to be moving the problem over a bit. We've got this here. Most of this is tourist spots that are affected. We've got some of the houses, but not a massive amount. Of course, yeah, what I could do is I, I could move it over here. Right over onto this side. Right down here. Um, if I level that land first. Let's get rid of that. Um, I think I just press escape there. Do it like that. So I'll come down here, and I need to level the land in order to be able to put the airport, in order to be able to move the airport. So we're going to go into landscaping in here. We've got to landscape this a little bit. So we want to go to that one right there, the level terrain. I could do with a bigger brush. Bring that one out to about 100, I think. Brush strength is fine. We can have a, we can have a powerful brush for this one. I think a powerful brush would be just fine. And I'm going to set the height to the road right there. So it's going to come out like that. And it's going to push that in through. And then that is going to go right in steep in there. Like that. That's as far in as I can go. And I'll take it up like that. I'll bring that out. And we'll also we'll raise up this piece back here. And there. We now have... Something that we can use for our airport. I'm actually going to remove the road first. I'm, I'm going to, if I, yeah, let me let me do that a minute. If I remove this road, like this, up there, all the way to there, and that one out there as well. Then I go back to this one again. 
And I raise a bit more of this. In like that. And I can do a bit more over here. Because it's actually it's we've got a little bit of a dip in here. So I can I can raise that up a bit over to there and it's uh, it, it's not actually very much out of place all the way down here. We, we've got a little bit of like a, um, a, 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 a more of an odd thing over this side, next to where that railway is, but that's fine. We can we can we can deal with that. We can just put that one in like that, bring it across. There we go. Right, I, I like this. I like the way that this is laid out. So then I want to get some. Yeah, I want some road now, and uh, I want three-lane road. We want the, the decorative one. That one there, I want to bring that one out at 180. So I'm going to bring that one all the way down here. There, like that. And I've got a bridge on there. I don't want a bridge. That's the next thing we want to do, is we want to get rid of this bridge, and we want to do something different. So I'm going to go to there, and I'm going to bring that one out like that. And... There. So now I've forced it in there. Uh, forced it into the building. I think that will work quite well. We can bring that one across like that. Let me get rid of this. Okay, so we've got a longer little tail on that side. And we've still got the loop all the way around. But we've got a, a level area over here now. So if I go to you and I go to relocate this building. That's steep up there. But if I come down... There we go. Look at that. So I can put this one... I'm going to bring this one out... All the way down there, so it's it's more sort of down on the corner, like that. So it can still be used. It'll still be used. Um, the only difference is that I've now, this down here, this should have improved the quality down here. So we've got healthcare here, death care. Death care hasn't... We've got a lot of sickness here. There is still a lot of sickness. Oh, that's death care down there. That's not... That's, Oh, yes. Ah, I see. Right, we got both. We got death care there. Um, I think we're all right for death care on here. Generally speaking, it, it's pretty good. The health does seem to be improving. I think it was to do with the noise as well. I think noise was actually making a difference. Right, waste management. To manage waste, build a landfill or an incineration plant. Yeah, well, we know all about that, but we're not going to do anything about it. We're going to leave it. Have we got anything new with garbage? No, we don't. We've got the recycling and we've got the incineration. So there's nothing... Yet. The toll roads have been added in as like a base game thing now. Um, but I don't think there's anything else new that's been added to the game at the moment. In order to be able to join the power into the airport over here, I think we will go with this. We will go with low density commercial zone. And I will put a piece in there. Now, we've got a high demand at the moment for commercial zone of any kind. So by adding that in there, they should start building in there pretty quickly. At least that's the plan. Uh, they're not building at the moment. Maybe nobody told them that this was the plan, and that's why they're not building yet. I'm going to put those in there as well. So we should have now a line of them go in. Um, I mean, maybe they want the high density stuff. I don't know. We'll, we'll leave that for a minute. Um, let me come off of there. So I've got some I've got some um, commercial zone that will go along there. And hopefully they will be able to figure that out. This is the Emma Lee Boulevard. And it goes all the way through. So there's no problems there with the road connection. And then... Well, actually, I suppose, really, we'd want some... Oh, that was another thing that I wanted to do. Forgetting about that, over here... On our international airport. So we've got people coming in and out. Passenger service last week, zero. We've got the road being used. And this road here is being used. People are coming all the way in here to the tourist zone. Along this major road that we've got here. But I've got... Nobody's actually using the airport. And this is a, a, a bit of a, a, a thing for me. I'm thinking maybe we should put... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Passenger service last week, one. People are now using the airport. Okay, I like this. I like this a lot. Now, what, 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 what's going on in here with the roads? If I go... Let, let me actually go to the road a minute. Can I upgrade in any way on these roads? I've got road out here. That's one-way road out there. Now, I'm wondering if I should put another... Because I've, I've... Basically, I've set this as one-way road. Uh, I could do 
two lane one way on there. And we go for the upgrade. You cannot do it onto the actual airport, but I can do this. So if I upgrade that like that, so it's not actually slip road. And I do the same on that one there. So that's not actually slip road either. And then I double check on the junctions and make sure that we don't have anything ridiculous like... Tra yeah, we don't want traffic lights on there. And we don't have anything ridiculous like traffic lights on there either. No, we don't. That way the traffic will come through. It should flow a little better. That's what I'm hoping. Right, we get rid of you. We don't need to do any roads. But no, the other thing that I was going to do was I was going to put commercial buildings over here because you would have commercial buildings next to an airport, wouldn't you? I mean, look. This is this is a big commercial opportunity right here. So we definitely want some commercial buildings around here. Put those in there like that. Look at that. This is, this is something that you would definitely have. There's no way you wouldn't have that next, next to a, a big airport. All those customers going in and out, you'd be daft not to do that. Uh, water. I just need to make sure that, yes, we have actually got a water supply for all of them. That's perfect. And then we can come back over here and we'll have another look. So we've got a few buildings now being built down through here. Hopefully we get a few more. We've still got the demand there for the commercial buildings. So they should come down through and, and finish building those any time now. A any moment. Any moment at all they'll come. Oh, there was another thing. I wanted to check for fire. Now, we've got reasonable fire coverage, I think. Um... But it's probably not going to hurt to have a little bit of fire coverage on the end right there. Now, the fire towers. I don't really want forest fire coming out. We don't need to connect these. Look at that. That's that's much better. So we don't actually need to connect the towers. But you put the tower in and it instantly it can see forest fires over a large area like that. And I, and even though it said from here that it was covering down into this bit here. I love the fact that we do actually have a line of sight from the tower so it won't see over the top of there that's quite cool um i wonder if i should put one no i'm not going to put one up there i'm going to put one here so that will go right over to the meredith wyatt district there and should keep these safe we've got a little bit here that could present a problem except that if i put another tower over this side that should be in sight of this tower here yes right so that's that bit taken care of. I'm going to put another one in there so that we can just keep an eye on this lot here. Everybody's happy as well because they can see me keeping an eye on it. And then I go over here and I want to put another one in here. I want to put that one fairly close to that road there. Hopefully it will sit. Yes. Okay, that's good. That's, that's a good thing there. And I've not really thought of doing this before. I'm going to do it now though. We're going to go around and we're going to put in a whole load of these. So we've got... Nice, there's a whole load of districts there that are now happy. And we go, let's put some near the road. There's one there, and we'll put another one over here. I don't know if they can quite see this one up here. That one, th there's some issues over there with fire. Because I've got, ooh, that's a bit slow coming in. Um, I've got fire. And I've, I've got, like, the fire services here, but nobody can reach these two. So those two could become a potential fire risk in the future. Could potentially become a fire risk. We'll, we'll, um, we'll worry about that another time. I'm going to stick one of these towers right up on there and see what that does. That should reach over to here a bit and reach down into the city as well. There we go. Look at that. Now everybody's happy with that because we've already had a fire breakout down here. We'll put another one over there. There. Load of people happy over there. I don't think it doesn't really make much of a difference to the houses. A little bit of a difference, but not a lot. Um, but it's these over here. Look at this. If we drop one here and we stick one over here as well, that's going to stop forest fires for a huge section of forest around my um, uh, forestry zone that I've got here. There we go. Look at that. Okay, this, this is actually really cool, the way this is working out. Garbage up here. That's a bit of a problem. So is the fire. If I... Oh, if I put that up against the road... Like, not putting it on the road doesn't really do anything. But if I put it, like, right close to the road like that... It does actually seem to count the road as well. 
and it's then lowered the fire risk on the building. So it looks like they... I, I, I don't know quite how that works, but it does seem to. Um, it's a bit strange. I'm, I'm not going to question it. I'm, I'm happy for that to carry on. Uh, we'll put another one up here. This is probably costing me an absolute fortune to get these set up. And another one there. And then we want to put... I'm going to put one right up onto that bank up there next to Alexander Lewis district. And there that goes through. Right. I think that's pretty good. We won't put any more down for now because they do get expensive. And yeah, so what are they? They are nine... Nine grand a... Oh, nine grand, 96 a week. So they're actually really cheap to run. So we, we could put hundreds of those down and we wouldn't really notice a difference. That's, that's probably what we should be doing. We should probably be putting hundreds of them down. Now, I've got more of these expanding down this way. But I've still not got the power joined in down here, which which I kind of need. Power's got to come up to this point. Uh, how can we... How, how can I persuade the... How can I persuade them to build... In this bit, look, see, they're, they're building slowly. They're slowly expanding down this way. They're, they're getting closer and closer. They're building new buildings. Just periodically, we're getting another building being put in. It's getting a bit closer. So we got one right there. And then we're going to come down again, and it'll, it'll build another one right next door to it in a minute. Put one there. It'll decide that it's got a, a little bit more demand for it, and, and so it's going to build another one. Anytime now. Anytime. And, and then it will eventually reach our airport. So I don't need to worry about power lines. We'll, we'll deal with that another time. Um, but yes, our district now. This is looking fantastic. We've got 178,000 people. This is what I really like, is the number of people with the sheer volume of people that we've got moving in here is just phenomenal. So where are we going to put more districts? I've got this, I've got Jamie and Windwalker here. I still haven't actually converted those districts. I haven't, like, stated that they are industrial land. So they're still waiting. I've got, I'm starting to get a tiny little bit of demand for industrial zone. But that's not really our main issue. We've, we've got housing here galore. And we've got some commercial... Most of our problem is that we've got a lack of a commercial district. We don't have enough commercial zoning. And that's that's our biggest problem at the moment, is this lack of commercial zoning. So we've got a train station up there. I think what we want to do is we want to remove that road there. And I want to redesign that one. I want that one to come down here close to the track. Along here. And then back up and join in on there at the bottom of Murray Avenue. And then we'll turn this bit here into another commercial zone. Because... Oh, and also I wanted to turn these into commercial zone as well, didn't I? We want to do some more some more work on that. This is now all commercial zone. Uh, yeah, that is actually all commercial zone. And it, it's mostly filled up as well. So the commercial zone... The demand for it is growing. That's slowly expanding out there. Uh, right, I think, well, our next task is going to have to be more commercial zoning. And I think Jamie, Burt, and Silverwolf187 are going to be the next commercial zones that we build. We're sort of out round here. I'll, this road here is going to have to come along closer to the edge of the river, I think, down to here, sort of along there. Oh, actually, let's have a look. Yeah, I do, I do want to redirect it slightly, a little bit closer to the waterfront there. And then we've got a train station here, which we're going to have to just kind of leave. And we'll bring this road up. No, actually, I could just do a junction off of that road and um, use up some of this land here. And then we can do another one here. That's going to come out round. We've got the railway tunnel that goes through there. And we can. We don't need to worry about it too much. So that one there. We've got the ward tunnel there, which is the road. And then we've also got the railway um, tunnel that comes under here as well. Uh, Meteorologists are issuing a thunderstorm warning for the right. coming days. Citizens are advised to stay indoors. Right, we have a thunderstorm coming in. Uh, trains, trains are slowing down a little bit in places, but generally speaking, they're still pretty good. There seems to be a little bit of traffic backing up on the trains around... That would be the start of the thunderstorm. A thunderstorm is battering Let's speed the city. it up. Stay indoors until the storm has passed. Right, this 
generally just goes through and knocks out all the power lines. It's, it's normally what happens is we just lose every single power line and then we have to just go back through and, and rebuild them all. So what I'm going to do is as the thunderstorm rages, I'm going to just reconnect the power just like that. And then I'm going to go with you right there and reconnect you as well. So I've, I've already beaten it. I've already beaten it at its own game. We got a solar plant over there that's now caught fire, and that's the one bit where the fire department can't really reach very easily. Just to make life more difficult for us, we've got another one down here that needs to be replaced. I'll have to go from you over to you. Ooh, 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 ooh. Didn't like that one. Take you and join you onto there. But it, it, it doesn't like that because it's, it's too low. It's too low right there. That's that's a problem. Right, I'm going to have to... Yeah, del delete that one. And then I go from you. I go from the top of that one there. Like that. And I bring you over this way. I want to go to there, which goes to that point. And I needed to bring you up like that and then join you in. Right. So we've done that one. I've got another problem over here. This one needs to go into there. That's got to go up so that it will connect in. And then it'll connect into that one. And it's been replaced. And then we've got... But I've actually got a line going across here. I don't know if I even need that one anymore. That one's kind of redundant now. I've got... Or is it? Yeah, I think it is. I've lost, I've lost a large number of those, but I think that line is actually a bit redundant. I, I don't think I need that one. I'm going to remove it all because I had that one installed in order to be able to do... Come on, there, take that one out. Um, I had it installed in order to be able to get some of the other bits going, and I don't think I need it now. So if I remove that one there, um, over to there, and then it goes... See, I, I don't need this either. This this is all redundant line. It can be removed, and then I can actually... Yeah, take that one and that one out as well. We go back into here. i got some housing I can put in here. See, I'll take that one there. I can put housing there, 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 and there. Like that. And then up this side, that's already got the housing on it. Okay. Right, so we'll come back out like this and we'll have a look around. So it's joined in there. And... Oh, right, it comes across there and then it joins down here. So we do, some of them are separate. Some of them are separate and some of them are joined together. These thunderstorms are an absolute nuisance. They really are. A jolly nuisance. Uh, put that one in there. That one will go. That will connect up like that. I want to join this one here to that one like that there so we've reconnected that one this side up here this didn't get touched that's all good that's all clean up there this bit here this this needs to go that one can go that one you and then these bits down through here they can all go as well so that's out the way I do need to replace this so that I've... I mean, I've got power for this coming in from that side. But I want to replace this anyway so that I don't lose this line. This is kind of like some added redundancy into this line. Uh, we're going to bring it up to there. I want to go up by two points there. And then... That's not going to let me do that. I can go to there like that. And then join it in. That lets me do that. That's fine. That's, that's absolutely fine. Uh, and we go from here straight across to there like that. And then we get the bulldozer and we remove that one and that one. So they're out. Right. That's now joined in here. It goes over to Tom the Yank. It goes over to the Rugrat one. It goes over there. I don't... Oh, hang on. I've got another couple of joins in here that I need to add in now. Uh, we've got a deadline there needs to be replaced we've got have we got deadlines up here anywhere no but we do need to replace these because um, we're using all of those lines join that back into there and then you need to join back into there like that and then you need to join 
back into there like that. And then you need to join back into there like that. So we've got a connection all the way around there. That's going to connect up this side. We've got sewage issues, except the sewage issues should now be dealt with. Yes. Sewage has now all come back up online, so that's fine. You can see they're now all disappearing. We no longer have sewage issues. Power, I've still got a power issue over here, because I've lost a lot of power down here, so I want to connect that one up there like that. That's going to connect that one back. And then this one here will join back in. And then we've got that one there that goes to that line under there. And then I got that one that'll go across there. Right, that's going. There we go. So we've got we've got the power back in. And then we want to go right here. I this isn't at this actually this is just a redundant line here. Um, I mean it's still useful though. So I want to put that one in there like that. And then this one here. Oh, hang on, no. Uh, that one. Won't connect across there. I had to bring it up to here, which is why it's up so high. And then it'll connect back into there like that. And it'll connect back into there like that. So I got one dead one there that can go. Are there any more? Yes, there is. <laughs> there's still more. Thunderstorms are a nuisance. It has it, it, it is come to my attention that thunderstorms are a bit of a nuisance. I can bring that one straight across there. That's good. That was a nice, easy repair job. And then that one across there is another easy repair job. Do you have any more? Do you see any more of those horrible flashing lights? That's connected round there. I really should have another redundancy line across here somewhere. Just to make that. I mean, I suppose it's not that important. We've got a connection here that goes to the island. And it comes across to there. Which then comes in this way. Um, and I've got connection there that runs across. I've got one... Little bit of a line there, which I'm not actually sure I even need anymore, to be honest. But we'll we'll leave it in there. Um, no, it's across here. I'm thinking that I ought to have one little bit of redundancy from this side here over to the other side. If I was to take one from there. And put it across down to... I can't go right the way across, but I can take it there like that. And then put it down there. That's going to then... I've got redundancy there on that line. And that's um, like just added... Like join the city together a little bit better as well. Um, so we've joined a bit more together there. And that's all looking pretty good. Right. I Like I said before, I'd already run out of time. And then we had the thunderstorm to deal with. But we've now dealt with the thunderstorm. That has all been repaired. All the issues have been taken care of. Power is now fully restored to our airport all the way down through there. We're getting more demand for commercial zones once more, which we will take care of in our next episode. We're going to build another commercial zone down here. Remember, I did originally intend all of this to be commercial. I've added housing in here in places, but the idea was most of it was going to be commercial anyway. Um, we're starting to get a little bit of demand for industrial, and I'm going to, I was going to put some here. I don't know about that at the moment. We'll we'll consider that. Um, I might start opening up the agricultural zone up here instead so that we start using that station a little bit. So at the moment, that station is not getting anything at all. There's no traffic or anything going through there. Um, just, you know, add more trains into the mix because why not? Uh, but anyway, that's all we got time for today. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.